one of the things that I think were kind of so, we soaked up when we were kids were the the, the, the fact that uh, uh, instrumental music can be played on the radio and can be a hit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we we learned a lot about you know, uh, developing our ear and hearing what a good melody is. And mm -hmm. it was because of people like The Shadows and The Ventures, Dwayne Eddy and Chet Atkins and pe people like that who really showed us the way. Well, you can do a little tribute by doing one of their, one of the Shadows songs right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. It's a tune called The Savage. It's unreleased. This is a treat for the Wood Songs audiences. Tommy and Phil Emanuel on the Wood Songs. Old time. <laughs> Emmanuel on rhythm acoustic, Phil Emmanuel on the electric guitar, and you know the, the red ones go faster. <laughs> that's that's, right. uh, that's that song used to really kill our elder brother. He used to play drums and it had the most incredible drum pattern behind it. It was a real marathon to play. Y you think? And, um, yeah. And so how, actually, how big was the family? Tom band actually or? learned to play the the rhythm to it, and we had, we never had a bass player in our band, so. Tom used to play the... Show him how you used to do the rhythm and the bass. This is an, another little thing that... Yeah, uh, so the rhythm part on the actual original recording was like this. And the ba bass was... So I put the two together. It just fills it up. 